Algebra 1, number 3.9b. We're talking about proportions in this unit. Aren't you excited? We're going to talk about cross multiplying and cross products. So proportions are two equal ratios. And when we need to solve for a variable in a proportion, we can use the multiplication property of equality. You know, we can multiply both sides of the equation by a reciprocal. As seen in the last video, number 3.9a, and there's going to be a link to that video in the description of this one in case you missed it. Okay? It's good viewing. You'll like it. We can cross multiply to find cross products. So if we have two ratios, A over B and C over D, then we can multiply diagonally across the A to the D and the B to the C. This one will equal BC, this one will equal AD, and the BC and the AD are going to equal each other. These two are going to equal each other. Okay? So let's put some numbers in and see how that would work. We've got 1 half equals blank over 4. Now, I'm sure you can figure this one out, but I'm using easy numbers so that you can see what I'm doing. This would be 1 times 4 is 4 and 2x. And the 2x and the 4 are going to be equivalent. 2x equals 4. We can divide both sides by this coefficient 2, can't we? And that creates the identity property, our friend the invisible 1, so we just have an x, and 4 over 2 is 2. So we know x equals 2. See? That's how you cross multiply and make equivalent products so that you have an equation. See? All right. So remember there's links in this description. All right? So we just multiply diagonally across to make equivalent products. If we have 7 ninths equals x over 27, all we have to do is multiply across to make our equation. 7 times 27 equals 9x. And we do a little math on the side, and we see 7 times 27 is 189. So we have 189 equals 9x. We just divide both sides by this coefficient 9, can't we? 9 goes into 9 one time, and 9 goes into 18 two times. So 189 divided by 9 is 21. That was an easy one. And this 9 over 9 is the identity property. It's a 1 times x is 1x. See? That's our buddy, the invisible 1. See how easy that was? Let's try it again real quick. We have 5 ace equals x over 40. All we have to do is 5 times 40 and 8x to get our equation, our equivalent products. 5 times 40 is 200, and 8x is 8x. We have 8x equals 200. We can divide both sides by the coefficient, and 8 goes into 200 25 times with a little long division on the side. We know that x equals 25. See? Wasn't that easy? All right. Let's try it again for those who need it. For those of you who don't, you can watch the next video. All right? So we're going to multiply diagonally across to make equivalent products. We've got 3 over n. Now our variable is down in the denominator. See? Before, we had it up in the numerator, didn't we? Now, if you saw the last video, you know how to solve this without doing cross products. Okay, using the multiplication property of equality. And it's kind of an important thing to know, all right? So we just multiplied both sides of the equation by this denominator in the end. But in this one, we're going to do cross products, cross multiplication, okay? So we're going to multiply 3 times 51 and 17 and n. We're going to get 17n equals 3 times 51. Well, 51 times 3 is 153. So we have 17n equals 153. We can divide both sides by this coefficient 17, and we get 17 over 17, which is 1. That's the identity property, our buddy the invisible 1. And 153 divided by 17. I did a bunch of multiplication on the side, and 7 was too little, 8 was too little, and finally when I did 17 times 9, I got 153, which is that. So I knew it was a 9. See? All right, let's try it one more time for those who need it. We've got 2 twelfths equals 5b. 2 times b is 2b. 12 times 5 is 60. Our equivalent products are 60 and 2b. That's our equation. 60 equals 2b. We divide both sides by this coefficient 2. Remember, the coefficient's the number in front of the variable. And we get a 1 here because of identity property, our in invisible 1, and... 60 divided by 2 is 30. The answer is 30. There's supposed to be a 30 where that B is. See? That's not that bad, is it? All right. 
We're going to continue on talking about proportions and we're going to talk about means and extremes. Okay? See you in 3.9C. Bye.